All right, before we start this video, man, I just want to say one thing, okay? Do not feel or get offended by my, I repeat this, by my opinion. This is completely my opinion. I'll be judging the games on how much I like them. And basically, yeah, basically everything is mine. So just don't be like all offended in the comments saying, oh no, dude, you're completely wrong. This is not how I feel about it. I mean, you could, but don't, don't be too toxic about it, all right? All right, thank you guys. Project Jojo or A Bizarre Day? Which one is better? Everybody has different opinions. Obviously, I cannot like put everybody in a single video. So I'll basically just be giving my opinion on which game is better and I'll be showing you why. So we'll basically be going over things as the gameplay, the stance, PvP, the design, the community, and the updates. Now it doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, a lot of stuff will go into these categories. And I'll basically be just like explaining everything from my point of view and how much I enjoy it. And yeah, basically overall my opinion on it. So let's get started. Gameplay. Now gameplay is the most important thing in a game. You can fit so much things in gameplay, such as probably things I've named in like categories, such as the design, PvP, the stands, and yada, 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 yada. There's so much things you can fit in gameplay. So it's only natural that we're gonna have to speak about it. Now starting off with a bizarre day, the gameplay is really nice. You can just get into the game, hop in, start playing and fight immediately. Unlike in Project Jojo, you have to actually level up your stand if you actually wanna have a chance because most of the time you're just gonna get one shot. That's, that, that's just what it is. You can go ahead and obtain a decent amount of stands, go into a VIP server, chill there, get some arrows and farm stands. Now you have recolor stands, which are like a different color of stands and you have minecraft stands which is a pretty cool idea and i have to give that to them and because of all these unique stands there's actually a really big trading system now they actually rank the stands on like the rarity i guess which in project jojo they do it basically off the combat like how good it is at least that's what i think in my opinion abd is more of a chill place to just chill out with friends and just fight sometimes and just talk to people basically it's not really like project jojo where you have to literally beware because you can get one shot you can get also get one shot in this game but not like in a second you feel me so in my opinion it's more like a chill just hop in and start playing and fighting people type of game next up is project jojo and What is there not to do on Project Jojo? Rebirth to get a better stand. Group up with people and take down B.I.G. the raid boss. Requeem your stand. Stone Rock on your stand. Put Hamon on your stand. Put Vampire on your stand. Bless your stand. And even Fuse your stand. Now these are just a few things that I'm naming. I can literally go on for a while with these things, okay? Project Jojo has so much to do in gameplay wise that you can just stay there and play and grind for a long time. But, as I said before, you have to grind in order to become strong. Unlike in ABD where you can just hop on, get a good stand if you're lucky and you can just basically just start fighting with people. In Project Jojo, you actually have to level that stand but obviously it doesn't even take that long it probably takes like an hour or two or three it depends on how you do it really and if you buy the game pass of course so gameplay wise i have to give the cake to project jojo The stands. Now, probably one of the most important things, apart from the gameplay, obviously, is the stands. Like, what can they do? Are they good? Are they fun to use? Are they unique? Uh, what can you do with them? All that good stuff. So, we're going to get straight into it, starting with Project JoJo. Now, Project JoJo has a lot and a lot of stands to use, and there's a lot of unique ones. Like, take for an example, Rumble. Rumble can basically smash his opponent into the ground and do combos in the ground. And it can tank, basically attacks, and it can push it back towards the opponent. I'm not going to show a video because I'm too lazy to do it right now, okay? And, yeah, you can basically bless your stand. You can upgrade your stand, progress your stand. You can do, you can even level your stand. And you can even fuse your stand. So there's, like, so much things that you can do with 
already a lot of stands and that's part of the reason why i really like project jojo like they have a lot of stands you can fuse and you can basically just do what you want basically you have a lot of options so yeah project jojo has a really good stand system in my opinion back to a bizarre date now as i said before they have a decent amount of stands along with the reskins and uh, the minecraft stands and just overall they have a lot of unique stands in my opinion okay you can obviously you cannot do as much as you guys can do at project jojo but for some reason the stands they move more smooth in my opinion and i don't know they are really unique in my opinion i like having new stands on abd and on top of that you don't have to constantly change your stats unlike in project jojo when you get another stand chances are high that you're gonna have to rock it yourself and do your stats again basically but i'm gonna have to be honest most of the skills from a bizarre day that stands have i tend to like uh more than project jojo stand skills i don't know why that's just me but yeah So I had to make it a draw guys, yes I know Project Jojo has a lot more stands and there's a lot more to do with them, but I don't know, for some reason I just like ABD stands and I just like the way they work and how smooth they are, so I couldn't choose and had to make it a draw. pvp now just like the other ones that we already have covered this one is a big deal as well like for some people if the pvp isn't good they're not even gonna play it and which i can actually agree on like if the pvp isn't good then you know i'm out i'm not gonna play it because unless the pve or there's something else that's really good that makes me want to stay which is highly unlikely that i might stay if the pvp isn't good i'm probably gonna leave so Let's get straight into this. Starting off with Project JoJo's PvP. Project JoJo's PvP is really hard to explain to you guys. Since there's so much depth in stance basically, you can basically just upgrade your stance so much that to the point where you can basically either one shot people or are unkillable due to the stats. Like if you max one stat out, you're going to be so good at that one stat. So yeah, if you fight somebody that's balanced, he's going to have either a hard time or he's gonna have a really easy time obviously it also all depends on what stand you are using and what tactic but for some reason i i i like project jojo's combat but sometimes i don't really feel like there's a skill needed into it like sometimes i'd be fighting people and someone just grabs another stand out of their storage basically and starts whacking me like one shotting me making me have to go get another stand basically and rocking my stats and change my stats basically just for the fight so sometimes it really doesn't feel like it's skill based it just feels like you need a certain stand and a certain stat to basically beat that person now obviously don't get me wrong guys there are some stands that you need skill with and you could probably beat any stand with okay i'm not really i haven't really played project jojo for that long but this is just what i've been experiencing since i've started playing and now we have ABD's PvP. Honestly, I don't have anything bad to say about the PvP. I actually like ABD's PvP for some reason. It feels really smooth. But oh god, bro, when there's delay in the server, like honestly, it's to the point where they literally shut down servers because there's so much lag. Like sometimes I'll be hitting my range move and I literally see it connect. It just doesn't register the damage or register anything at all due to the delay and lag basically which is honestly one of the most annoying things on abd when it comes to pvp which project jojo doesn't really have to my uh, knowledge but if you go to a vip server it should be all fixed and the lag should basically just be gone and you can just fight normally but you cannot do that in public sadly which is probably one of the bad points of abd's pvp in my opinion so i had to give the w to a bizarre day I just like the combat of Bizarre Day way more than Project Jojo because for some reason I, I, I'm just more used to it. I just like it more and it's more smooth in my opinion. So yeah, I had to give the W to Bizarre Day. The design. 
Now, most of you are probably wondering, like, what do you mean with the sign? Now, with the design, I mean the map, thumbnails, icon, design of stands, and the abilities of the stands, basically. Like, how do they look? Do they look cool? Does the map look cool? Does it give you a good feeling? That, basically. Project JoJo. Now, they have a really good looking map, Mario, the first one, and they also have a second map when you defeat the raid boss which is italy i think yeah it's italy and that one looks amazing too now the thumbnails look amazing the icon looks amazing to me the design of stance are okay to me they are i can deal with them and they're i guess they're nice i guess the abilities look most of the time they look nice could be better but overall you can tell that they're doing their thing and they're really doing a good job at it all right so bizarre day the map is I mean, it's alright. Good thing is, it prevents lag. Thumbnails, they look alright. Icon looks alright, I guess. Now, the design of the stands are something that I really like. I have mentioned this before. The stands that they make, I really like. Plus, the abilities look really awesome. So, yes, I have to give them that at least. In this situation, I just have to give the W to Project JoJo. They have a really good looking map, and on top of that, they also have another good looking map. The thumbnails, the icons, they all look crisp, so I just have to give W to Project JoJo. The community. Now, honestly, I don't really have a lot to say about this. In my opinion, they're equally toxic and equally helpful. But, there is a but, okay? A Bizarre Day actually reached out to me and wanted to see if they can help me with videos and stuff. Now, the reason why maybe Project JoJo hasn't done that yet is because I haven't really made a lot of videos on Project JoJo, which is understandable. But... Yeah, I just gotta have to give it to a bizarre day just because they helped me out. And yeah, it's part of community. You must be wondering right now, huh? We're getting really close to the end. This is the last subject, the last category. Who's gonna win? And I'll just say it right now. I don't want you to waste your time. You already wasted enough of your time by, wait, by watching the entire video, okay? Now, in my opinion, the updates that Project JoJo delivers are bigger. They add more stuff and they're more frequent. Now, recently, bizarre day hasn't really been putting out too much content i just feel like project jojo has been pushing out updates and more content consistently at least that's what it looked like these past few weeks and that makes basically the last categories winner project jojo the winner of my opinion on which jojo game i prefer over the other so i gotta congratulate you guys Oh, bro, I have to actually stay quiet. It's literally 524 a.m. as we speak. I wanted to get this video out, okay? I've been really working on this for a long time. But yeah, guys, that was a video. You can probably already tell that I'm really tired in my voice. Probably at the start of a video, I was super energetic. I'm really tired right now. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to show appreciation, join my Discord. We're close to 2K members right now. Once we hit 2K members, I will be giving away stands on Project JoJo as well as on Bizarre Day. And I just want to say, does this mean I'm not going to play a Bizarre Day? Nope. Does this mean I think a Bizarre Day is bad? Nope. Does that mean that you were trying to offend somebody in the video? Nope. So yeah, guys, I still be playing both games. I love them both. I just prefer one more than the other, and I would recommend one over the other. It, it really doesn't matter to me. I just wanted to do this video for you guys. I thought it would be a fun concept, and it was a really unique video. I haven't done anything like this before, so I'm super tired. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.